Chuck E. Cheese's has had a very long history, and such history is really fascinating. But in this video, I'm not going through it. I've already made a video that goes in depth into the history of the franchise from 1977 to 1989. Go ahead and watch that if you want to. You don't need to. But today's subject is what happened to the first Cinematronics. But before that, let's go over what we're talking about. Birthday one, honey bun, won't you be our birthday one? Please say yes, don't say no. And we'll tell the world. By now, it's probably no surprise to anybody that we got a birthday number coming up here. Well, it's a surprise to me. I didn't even get a present. Me neither, Big C. That's because it's not your birthday, Nitwit. Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Cheese, folks, I gotta tell you, it's a tough way to make a living sitting up This is Chuck E. Cheese, a computer animated rat. In the late 1970s, one Nolan Bushnell and his team at Atari opened the first Chuck E. Cheese's on somewhere near Winchester Boulevard in San Jose, California. I've done a ton of research on where this location is now to a saddening lack of answers. But I'm pretty sure the building has been replaced with something else at the mall. I've heard it was the Town and Country Shopping Center. The location opened in May 1977, and I'm pretty sure it closed sometime in the 1980s. They had the first portrait stage there, and in the 80s, it was replaced with a balcony stage. I'm pretty sure the first animatronics were just kept at CEC headquarters until they were damaged beyond repair due to a massive flood in the building, and now the only remaining portrait stage boxes are a version of Chuck with a hardened mask and a prototype crusty animatronic. That's all for the history of the portrait animatronics and where they are now. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. And if you feel like it, make sure to subscribe. I put a lot of time and effort into this video. So a subscription to the channel would be quite amazing. Recently I've hit 100 subs, and I'd just like to thank you all for that. And I hope that due to my TikTok account starting to get a lot of reach with over 1,000 followers, I hope this channel can get the same treatment. So if you're new to the channel and found me out of nowhere, or you're here from the TikTok account, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, and goodbye. Well, if you liked what I did then, let's plan on doing it again later. See ya.